guys, I'm Amy. Welcome to our IM series. We're so glad that you're here joining us this week. In this series, we're learning all about who Jesus is, and we're gonna start by singing a song about our memory verse. Mark 1.1 says, this is the good news about Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God. So let's sing it together. I really like that song because it reminds me of the good news, that Jesus is the Son of God. During Jesus' time on earth, he performed many miracles and taught us more about himself by using everyday examples. We're gonna learn more about these everyday examples from Pastor Steve. And I heard he has a new favorite show called Sam Cagney. So let's see what Pastor Steve's up to. Hey guys. Watching a marathon of my favorite TV show, Sam Cagney, Private Eye. I love this show. Oh, man. What? Ouch. I forgot Yikes. about that door. Yeah, you need hinges on that door. Yeah, that hinges, door's please. pretty, in fact, I, just, I think it's, yeah. It's kind of a mess right now. It's on the, huh? <laughs> I mean, look at you. You got like crumbs all I'm over I'm watching you. my favorite show. Come on. Yeah. This is how you watch TV on your day off, just In like this. In black and white? Just like this. You this can't show is a classic. Anything. Sure, you can. So, um, I have a question again, because I'm full of questions. You have a lot of questions. I do. I've noticed. But in this part, Jesus is talking about a gate, and he's saying how he's a gate for sheep. But if he's like a gate for sheep and he's at a sheep's pen all day, how does he answer my prayers? Oh, well, oh, I tell you what. If you will hold on to that thought, this will help. S Malia, seriously, this, it, it's just ironic. This will help <laughs> a little bit. Just watch That's this. That's what you always say. I know. But just watch, just one episode. As soon as this is over, it goes to commercial, I'll tell you. Okay. Dear Sam, can you please help me track down Justin Bieber's address? We are soulmates and destined to be together until the end of time. Ooh. 
Dear Sam, I was wondering if you knew anything about robbing a bank. I need some serious funds to pay for these new shoes I want. It's Wednesday and I'm getting a little antsy. I need a new case or I might have to go to the gym or something. Trust me, nobody wants that. Sam Cagney, Private Eye. I keep the gate latched all the time, so I know he's not getting out through there. But he's gotten out a handful of times over the past few weeks, and the mailman keeps having to bring him home. Isn't that right, Rufus, you crazy little doggy? Uh, yes, yeah. isn't that right? Well, um, don't worry, ma'am. I'm on the case now. Perimeter fence appears secure. Fence is roughly six feet high. Jump up on Not likely. Now tell me something. Does Rufus have any reason for escaping? What are you saying? I love my dog. Obviously, of course. I, I, I am just... not a cruel person. Why would Rufus ever want to escape from me? Isn't that right, Rufus, baby? Why would you ever want to escape from mommy? That's right. I trust from the intentionality of the trimming here and the lack of dirt in your fingernails or tools in the yard that you do indeed hire a gardening service? Yes, that's correct. Could they have left the gate open by accident? No, they always come on Mondays. And he's never gotten out on a Monday. Come to think of it, he always escapes in the morning before they even come. Hmm. Hey, are you okay? Not suggesting that he crawls up there. I am indeed, but why? You may be old, but that dog of yours is a clever one. Whenever the mailman delivers a package, he brings with him a little doggy treat for Rufus. Being the clever dog that he is, Rufus here has figured out a way to get to that treat immediately, instead of waiting for you to pass it along to him later. He'll hop on this crate, open the latch with his mouth, and make a beeline for that treat. You said yourself, the mailman's the one who brings him home always, right? My advice? Tell your mailman to toss the treat over the fence next time, and you might want to move that crate as well. Thank you so much, Sam. We really appreciate it. Don't we, Rufus, baby, baby, don't we? We appreciate it so much. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yeah. Don't forget to tell your friends. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, baby. Another case closed, another happy customer. What did this have to do with my question, Pastor Steve? It had a gate. The 
the dog in the gate thing. But what? Anyway, what? you asked me about Jesus being a gate, right? Yeah. Well, in the book of John. You'll have to clean that up then. Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> it's not on my list. In the book of John, Jesus was explaining to these people who they were saying, hey, show us this great miracle. If you're really from God, then we want to see that. And Jesus was trying to help them understand that he was the way to the Father because he and the Father were one. I am telling you the truth. The man who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate, but climbs in some other way as a thief and a robber. The man who goes in through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him. The sheep hear his voice as he calls his own sheep by name, and he leads them out. When he has brought them out, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow someone else. Instead, they will run away from such a person because they do not know his voice. Jesus told them this parable, but they did not understand what he meant. So Jesus said again, I am telling you the truth. I am the gate for the sheep. All others who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Those who come in by me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. So you see, that's why Jesus is saying, I am the gate. Oh, okay, so he's saying that he's like the gate to our home in heaven. Exactly. Now, oh. think of it like this. Okay. See, a long time ago, are when... You, those are from the floor, yeah, right? Yeah, they're fine. There's nothing wrong with them, they're fine. See, sheep aren't really smart. Mm -hmm. They're just not smart animals, and they need someone to watch out for them all the time. So at night, the sheep are really vulnerable to wolves and, and lions and bears. And Malia's. And Mal you're eating the fence. So here's, yeah. here's what happened. Shepherds would bring the sheep into the pen and then they would stand at the, at the front of the pen and not allow anything in or out. You mm. see, they mm -hmm. would actually be the gate. Nothing could get in or out of the pen unless it went by the shepherd. Jesus says, I am the gate. He's saying, if you want to know God the Father, if you want to be in heaven, you come through me. You must know me because I am the gate. Jesus is the only way to get to God and the only way to get to heaven. Okay. Thank you, Pastor Steve. You're very welcome. So does that connect with you now? Yeah. You get it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. And I'll come back if I have any more questions. I'm more than sure that you will. Wow, that was so cool. Pastor Steve taught us about some of Jesus' incredible teachings. Jesus compared himself to simple, everyday objects to help us understand who he really is and the great things he can do for us. Well, that's it for this week. We're so glad that you joined us for our I Am series. Our hope is that you remember who Jesus is and how we should follow him and listen to his teachings. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.